this year marks the 75th anniversary of the Blue Ridge Parkway. We thought a fitting tribute would be to pick one of our favorite places and go see it. A couple of the greatest treasures in the entire state of North Carolina are located just off the parkway. They are the two small Episcopal churches, just 12 miles apart. They house full wall frescoes by the famous artist Ben Long. Fresco is the painting medium employed by Michelangelo when he painted the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. It involves mixing sand and lime, then placing the mix on a wall and painting it while it's still wet. The painting actually becomes part of the wall. Fresco painting is a difficult art because of the rapid bonding of the pigment to the wet plaster. We were thrilled to have a conversation with one of the church's docents, Walt Scraw. This parish has two churches. They are the two churches of it's the parish of the Holy Communion. We have two churches, St. Mary's, which was built in 1905, and this one, which was opened in 1907, which is Holy Trinity. This is where Ben Long did his very first frescoes in the United States, the one over at the other church. This was his fourth one. He put these in 72, 74, 76, and 1980. This one is where I met him the first time and now I've been here in the parish about 10 years. And they're lovely little churches, but this one, for instance, was abandoned in 1947, 1970. The Episcopal Diocese decided to put a roof on the building and keep it along with the medical building across the street. Then the 1977, or late 70s, early 80s, Dr. Uh, Fulton Hodge, who is the, in this particular fresco, is the model over here on the right, was the pastor, and he uh, wanted to live over here, so they rebuilt the medical center across the street, and we're doing this. And he was to, over at St. Mary's and talked to the young man who was the Dowdy Thomas on the end of this Last Supper painting, is Ben Long, the artist, in 1980. That's his wife and two children down here in the bottom at that point, and she was the model for the first fresco done in North Carolina, which is Mary Great with Child, okay? Over at the other church. That's uh, the way to hit this thing got to put together. We've had a, a tremendous number of visitors. Visitors have helped pay for a lot of things here because we're a very small parish. I think we're up a little over 100 members at this point. We have, uh, you know, the, the problem of keeping up three buildings that are all in the 100 year old category are pretty tough. So this is uh, what the whole thing's about. This particular church was falling down. And when Ben Long came to visit uh, Father Hodge, and he says, well, uh, I'd like to do a Last Supper painting. And they came over here to this church, he says, you know, this is about the size I'd like to do it. So they, some of the local people here went in and they actually rebuilt the wall. That whole outside wall was falling down. They rebuilt the wall, built the wall inside of that that supports the fresco. It's also how he ended up at a columbarium downstairs. And the columbarium downstairs was uh, put in because that supports the whole thing now. That's, I mean, there's a good foundation. It also has a basement under the whole, uh, church. The rest of the church in the history of it is 1980 to start putting this in and he had 20 students here with him at that point and if you look there's two or three student uh, frescoes here one in the back up here, there's one out in the vestibule, and there's another one downstairs. And then a third one down there, the departure from Christ, of Christ, and that one was done in honor. North Carolina native Ben Long apprenticed in Italy to learn the art of true, or actual, fresco painting. And he became a master of the technique. When he returned to North Carolina from his studies and work in Italy, he wanted to bring the ancient technique with him. After meeting Father Hodge through a fellow artist, Ben Long offered a gift of a painting of a fresco. Father Hodge reportedly said, we'll take it, followed by, what is a fresco? And Ben, ben couldn't make a living here. He had, it said that was his 90th, he had already offered it to 90 people through Piedmont, North Carolina. And everybody says, yes, you're crazy, you can't do that. 
But Fresco Painting's been around 3,000 years. How many folks, do you know what the number of folks who come in to see these frescoes every year? Well, we're running on a little over 30,000 a year now. Uh, on a good Saturday this time of the year, I will figure I'll see 500 to 1,000 people between the hours of 10 and about 4, 30, 5 o'clock. The fall of the year during the uh, color season, we'll get a, I've been here when I've had 1,500 to 2,000 in a day. As some people know, he's now has a seven-year contract at the Vatican. All of the visitation takes a toll on the paintings and churches that house them. So a foundation has been established to protect and maintain the frescoes and help with the maintenance relating to a huge number of visitors. For more information, you can visit the Ash County Fresco Foundation. one of the few remaining masters of that ancient art. Although known for his work in Europe, Long has not yet...